Welcome back to Summit Railway, my friends. More than once I have told you that this wiring mess right here is temporary and today we are going to change that. I've got a ton of supplies which I need to install today. All of that stuff will be installed on this wall right here. Here we've got all the supplies. Up there is my digital center station and down here we've got the power. So I'd say there's nothing to it but to do it. Fast. Look at that, we are making some progress. This electrical box is hung, that electrical box is hung. We've mounted some receptacles and a light switch. Uh, this will retire this light switch and this recept receptacle, sorry, uh, this will get removed. And next up we need to install a wire casing from this box all the way down to this box, uh, which will bring power to that box.
The first mount is set. I have to do this all along the ceiling every 30 to 50 centimeters up to this box down here. So I will talk to you when that is done. All of the mounts are set along the ceiling up to the box and now I can install the conduit and then I will be done for today. Work will continue tomorrow. It is the next day and we are back on the project. Today we are going to disassemble this light and the wire casing. And we will put up some new lights here and there. And then we will be ready for the electrician to move in and wire all of that. And just like that, we are ready for the electrician to come in. We've got the fuse box hung, we've got two receptacles and one light switch installed. We also have two new lights and lots of conduit between both the fuse box and the electrical box, which will house my uh, two 24 volt transformer. And now we need to install them on this back plate, which is removable. So I'm going to remove this back plate, take it to the workshop. Here we go. I've laid out all the bits and pieces on top of the back plate. And that's the rough layout I was looking for. We've got two 230 to 24 volts transformers, which are each capable of 20 amps. One will power the digital central station, one will power a booster and both of these have enough capacity left to power lighting and some other stuff on the layout. Down here we've got two switches. Uh, those will be used to switch on or off those transformers and we've got wire casing all around uh, to neatly tuck away the wiring. So that's the layout. Now it's time to mount all of that.
At this stage of the project, I urgently needed the electrician to come around to wire the fuse box and the transformer units so I would be able to proceed with the project. But unfortunately he got sick and wasn't able to show up. I will show you the next steps in the upcoming videos. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed watching it and we will see us in the next one. Bye!